Hello, there is Impossible Creations and this will be tutorial for the animation designer. We will use few new features of the latest version of a plugin and we will turn idle animation into 90 degrees rotation in place animation. It's possible thanks to the multiple IK snap points. It will take just few minutes to create this animation and in the result we will get a game ready animation clip. Ok, let's go! So let's modify this model with Animation Designer, let's prepare the rig, create new save file to not forget about later and dock the window. I converted this model from generic to humanoid to show you one of the new features in the newest version more clearly. So if you work with Animation Designer and you notice that some animation clips have floating foots, like here for example, that means Unity Humanoid retargeting failed here, but now we can force it to use the built-in foot eye case and you see that it looks much better. And in many cases it can help your animations a lot. So remember about the Humanoid IK toggle when you work with Humanoid clips. Sometimes you will need just to hit this toggle to make some animation look much better on your models. Alright, so let's go back to the main topic of this tutorial. We want to make the rotation in place animation, so let's rotate the whole model. Here let's rotate root bone by 90 degrees. Apply curve to make it rotate from 0 to 90. I will start rotating with some delay. And end rotation a bit sooner. To make room for some extra motion we will do later. Ok, that's the start point. As for now, let's make animation a bit faster. Alright, and let's start working with the IKs. Let's select left leg and activate IK. And what we want to do is keep foot in an initial position for a while, do some small step, and after some rotation, do last step to final foot position. So we need few IK points to do this. Let's press this button to enter multiple IK points mode. Let's add IK snapping point, select it, and there we can control when IK should snap to this point, how long it should keep position, define transitions, also transitions have a lot of features which we will use later, and as you can see, it's easy to work with it. So let's use it for our animation. I will add point at the beginning. I will go with still blend to zero in order to capture the foot position for the IK. So I don't need to write the numbers manually. Let's keep it for a bit longer. Let's fade out it for a bit longer to later blend it with the another step position. Let's add another point. Let's adjust how long it should be kept and the fade in, fade out. It's ok for now. Let's add final IK point. Let's check how it should be blend to make it look nice. Move it a bit sooner. Keep it to the end. And make fade in duration longer. Let's adjust the rest of the fade durations to make these two points transition between each other correctly. Yeah, it seems it will work. Let's quickly preview it. Ok, so that's the initial work we do here. In a while we'll add some extra motion, but for now let me do the same thing for the right leg. With difference that right leg will need just two points instead of three. It's inside leg for the rotation animation, so it have less distance to do, to do full 90 degrees rotation. Take a look, you will notice that there is no need for the three points. Ok, fundamentals are done. Now let's move to the more exciting point of this tutorial, which is snapping point transitions. To work with snap points transitions, select point, click this button and here we have some more settings. There are curves for fade in fade out for IK position. I will not change it, but we will do some changes in position offset mode. By default there is Y-axis offset, 
and we can use it to move foot up when the transition happens and you see it works right away but it's rising foot a bit too high let's change the value to like half still a bit too much okay we can also add extra foot rotation let's change the value oh i forgot to set the curve so with a foot rotation we usually want to rotate it a bit down when raising foot and when putting back on the ground we want to rotate it up a bit something like this and yeah you can play with it here i will do it quickly just to show you what it can do okay and the last feature of a transition is offsetting the pelvis which can be very important in many cases when playing back animation you will sometimes feel that there is lack in something and that's probably the hips motion so let's try add here some offsets pelvis should move in some direction to keep balance of a whole character it can bring just much better feeling to the animation well i will not do here the expert settings but you can get the idea and experiment with it and you probably notice that there is some nice motion when leg is moved okay let's make it a bit more subtle and now i will do the same thing for the rest of the ik points Okay, when everything is done and you feel that pelvis motion is too sudden, you can switch to hip settings and activate elasticness. It can save you a lot of time by automatically smoothing the motion, adding some spring effect to it and make it feel just more muscle-like. Here it's pretty subtle effect, but you see the difference. With different settings, it can be required to make the hips motion in the IK transitions be more sudden in order to drive the elasticness of the hips a bit more. I will quickly do some tweaks just to make this effect a bit better. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. What more you can do now is activating the arms and spine elasticness. It can be hard to preview when it behaves like this. You can prevent it by disabling looping, so the model should calm down each time it plays again from the beginning. And the final thing we can do, we also could do this at the beginning before working with the eye case, but let's do it now. And it will be rotating spine and head to the target rotation before the legs starts to move and rotate whole model towards the desired direction for the character. It will make animation look more realistic. So let's add rotation modificator for the head. Axis of this bone are twisted. So let's switch to the fixed axis mode in order to easily adjust the rotation. So head rotates to the desired rotation of the creature. Let's animate this, so start from zero. Then fade it out because whole body will rotate towards this rotation so head can go back. Let's preview how it looks, okay. Now let's add modificator for the spine. Switch to fixed axis mode. Set target rotation be like this and that animate this and probably head will rotate more because it's child of a spine yeah now head rotates too much so let's adjust it let's make rotate it quicker and faster fade out and maybe let's blend it down since it don't need to rotate perfectly towards the target rotation so okay let's play 
Oh, and the elasticness is killing the effect a bit, as you can see. So let's make the elasticness effect a bit smaller. And let's make speed of this animation actually a bit slower than we said at the beginning. It should also calm down a bit the elasticness, so the effect maybe will look better. Alright, now we can export the clip. Let's check the settings in the inspector. I'm working here on the humanoid, so I get the extra settings. So I don't want to bake rotation for the root motion. And let's make it loop for the preview in the play mode. Okay, and there we have it. So if you get used to the snapping IK tools, you're able to make animations like this in a few minutes, and you should find a lot of different uses for this feature. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Hit the like, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.